Sunday sessions. This is where it's at. Sunday sessions. On live and Facebook. Here we go. Uh, pumped up for this Sunday session. It came all on the back of some discussions with the great man Tony Meredith and waiting for him to join us today on this live video. Looking forward to a bit of insight, a, a bit of knowledge, a little bit of deep thinking about what's going on in your own lives. Um, it's really important that we talk about these subjects because they're highly important. And um, I'm just going to bring Tony into this discussion right now. We've got David and Harrison. Thanks for joining us. Well, quite a few people to bring in and talk about. There's a there's a lot going on within ourselves each and every day. And Tony and I thought we'd bring a little bit of love, a little bit of sharing, a little bit of caring into this subject. Uh, taking a bit of a drink before we get started. Tony, good to see. Hi, mate. Hi. How are you there? Hi, mate. You got me? Have we got... Yep, yeah, we've got... Yeah, got you on. Fantastic. This is, um, well, it's really uh, episode two, should we say, of the uh, yeah. Tony and Luke show. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the key is today to get a little bit of Luke Maroney methodology, a little bit of Meredith me methodology around what's going madness. on. In Meredith a little madness. bit of Meredith madness, he calls it, but a little bit of deep thinking about what's going on in our own personal lives. Tony, Tony is I've been, a... I've been called worse. I've been called worse. Tony, That's fine. Uh, Tony is a life coach, uh, business coach. Um, I myself, I'm in property investing, but I really, I think my strength is really in, in, in terms of thinking about mindset, personal development, uh, that human behavior content. Tony, and I think some, some things are a lot very, very similar in ways, but then we've got probably some of those little bits of differences here and there. And yeah, I think that's yeah, what's going to really spice good. things up. Let's let's go. Well, the, you, the weather's absolutely pouring down here in Sydney, but it's obviously quite clear in, in Brisbane up there. No, not really. No, Maybe. it hasn't been. No, it's, it's been very overcast all morning, but you can see now that, uh, that we can see the city. I woke up this morning, I couldn't see the city, but there it is in the background, so it looks good. So it's starting to lift. So uh, the sun is starting to shine through. Fantastic. And a uh, big message for anyone coming on now. If you, you know, you might know some people there are going through struggles in their lives. So maybe you can go in and share this post with other people. They can come on live and see some of the things that we're talking about. And if you have any questions in regards to going, anything going on with yourself personally or with others that you might know, you can keep it anonymous and say that a friend of mine um, you know, is experiencing this or whatever. And we can, we can answer that question for you and try and help you out yeah. along the way. Yeah, that's, so the first that's the topic, idea. first topic that we would like to talk about, Tony, let's, let's look at this, you know, some of the things that have come up with yourself. And I know that you've been posting this on social media just in recent times or during this week, I should say, is about trusting the process. Can you talk to us a little bit about that and maybe a story or two about people that are looking to trust the process for themselves? Yeah, so where it originated from is on Wednesday, we had our group coaching call for the Property Development Formula students. And I was delighted with the, number, the amount of success that was uh, shared around the room, number of people in deals and whatnot. And it just reminded me that trust the process. And we give people in that program a blueprint. Uh, you need to follow the bouncing ball. A lot of people grow up with the mindset of rules are meant to be broken. Uh, and I'm here to say that rules are actually meant to be followed. And they're meant to be followed in the sense of when you lean to getting into property development or property investing or losing weight, it doesn't really matter. There's a whole range of rules that you actually need to follow. And you need to trust the process and stick with something long enough. And I was so moved by the success that uh, I heard in the room on Wednesday night that I got Tony, straight on Tony, just Facebook. before you get into that, mm. tell us about the blueprint. Because when, you, when I think about a blueprint, I think about mm. you know, something that is really in tune for each and every person, but I would imagine that you come to a perspective of thinking about there's an individual blueprint for each person and it's well, about creating that blueprint for yourself, right? Well, there's, there's an overarching theme. So if it's in property development, there is a core theme that you need to follow. If it's investing, there's a core theme or core set of rules that you need to follow. Yes, yeah, certainly along the way, there's a little bit of tailoring and adjusting to suit uh, the individual. But essentially, the, the spine, if you want, the backbone of the program is going to be the same for everybody. It just everyone's going to interpret it slightly differently. But also trust the process, Luke, means stick with something. It means don't mm. just do it for two weeks, four weeks, and then throw your hands in the air and say, this is a whole lot of crap. And that doesn't just apply to developing or investing, mate. That applies to losing weight, business, relationships, uh, on and on and on, right? It's about you have to stick with something long enough. And if I could just share 
a little bit about my history, if I go back a few years, I uh, was fortunate enough to lose a lot of weight in a short period of time. And I had to take some before and after photos and actually some during photos. And I remember that I, overall I lost 12 kilos in 12 weeks, but I remember that I'd wow. take photos in weeks, weeks four, eight, and then 12, and weeks zero, four, eight, and 12. I lost a little bit of weight from weeks zero to four, a little bit more from weeks five to eight, and it fell off me from weeks nine to 12. My point to that is how many times do we do something and we do it for four mm. weeks and we stop? Or we do it for eight weeks and we stop. And I could have easily done that, lost a couple of kilos, wouldn't have been fully satisfied, would have lost a couple of kilos, but because I stuck with it, because I believed in what I was doing, because I followed the script, I was given a food sheet and an exercise sheet, man, I just followed it. I said to myself, you know what, I'm not the expert, and I followed it and I had the results. Slightly off topic here, but it's really mm. interesting to talk about health and well-being, and it tends mm. to be the fallback for a lot of people talking yeah. about or using it as an analogy to trust the process or to, to go through uh, a whole coaching idea and thought process in, in actually achieving a goal. You know, I've come in towards, you know, I, I almost got up to 80 kilos. I'm now at about mm. six wow. nine kilos, and, um, mm. you know, that's been a bit of a step process for me as well, and I didn't really gauge it in terms of a 12-week program or anything like that. It was just a thing that sort of happened over time. But I know that I plateaued at different times, like you mm. said, in that 12-week period. And you could have easily, and at times I probably did give up a little bit. But Tony, the whole idea about that, you know, how do you bring that whole wealth, you know, health and well-being nature and the success that people can generate out of their businesses and their life and so forth if you can get the health right? Oh, well, it all starts with the health. I mean, if you have your health, then uh, that's, that's the cornerstone. That's the foundation. If you want to link it back to property, that's the foundation of a house. If you've got good health, uh, you know, then you're feeling more energetic. Uh, you're feeling more positive. I mean, there's all sorts of scientific uh, evidence around when you exercise, the endorphins and all those types of things. You feel happier. Uh, you help de-stress. Uh, mate, health is the cornerstone. I guess, in terms, I, I guess in terms of like actually achieving something through your health and your body, Hmm. do you tend to then become more successful in other areas of your life? Well, I did. So, so I did. So, I, I, you know, so for me, because I did the 12-week challenge and I'm no, um, you know, um, exercise physiologist or whatever. Guru. I just did something. I, yeah, no, no guru. I, I just stuck with something <laughs> for, tw for, 12, for 12 weeks. And it, it gave me an unwavering sense of belief. And I say to people often that, you know, my physical transformation was phenomenal. Uh, but my mental transformation was off the charts. And it just gave me this enormous sense of belief. And I said to myself, well, if I can do that, if I can go and, you know, do that 12-week uh, challenge and put myself through what I went through, and it, mate, it was very, it was quite extreme, uh, then if I can do that, then I can do anything that I want in my life. And so you don't have to be, uh, have success in the thing that you're chasing to actually get the belief that you can achieve it. So start something in exercise, get the belief that you can do it. Maybe it's you've never walked or run five kilometers before. Don't go, I'm not saying do a 12 week challenge. I'm saying maybe it's, there's, a, there's that app, a coach to five, a couch to 5k. Maybe it's about just getting the belief that, you know what, I can run five kilometers. And then it's about going, well, Starts if I can run train. five, yeah. yeah, if I can run for five <laughs> We're kilometers. We're the same thing, I love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, correct. If I can run for 5k, then wow, what, what else can I do? It doesn't have to be in health and wellness. It can be, well, now there's this side hustle or this, uh, uh, this, this business that I wanted to start. Wow, if I've got this belief over here, I wanted to apply that over there. The same sort of training. And thanks to yeah. Lee Hayden, uh, Linda, Amy, Vicky, Tony, and uh, Ben, all for joining us. Amy is loving um, and happy to tune in. Great to see you. Hello. Guys, if you have any questions about your own, Please. what's going on with yourself or uh, you know, others that you know, that might actually tune in or you've got any comments or want shares of your experience, please throw them in the comments. We love them. And obviously share this post, um, you know, with all your friends on Facebook because they might get something out of it. They might change yeah. what's going on with their own personal well-being and um, their business success by just maybe getting one of those golden nuggets that we're about to share today. What do you think, Correct. Tony? Oh, and absolutely. Tony, um, and I'll Sorry, and I was just going to say, we, we want to make this irregular, right? And in order to make this irregular, then we want to feel we're giving plenty of value. But that's not just about Luke and I having a chat. We, we could do that on the phone. It's about, uh, you know, getting you guys to ask us questions. We've got a whole variety of skills and expertise in our chosen fields and want to help people move forward. And I'm giving up my time, just like Luke gives up his time uh, on a Sunday morning. And we want to do it so that we can give plenty of value to you. So please uh, use us, 